am a church planter. I spent most of my Christian life in a church called Holy Trinity Brompton in West London in England. And that was a church that planted churches. It f planted its first church in 1985 and then went on from there. And I had the privilege of uh, taking a church plant with my wife, Louis. Uh, we went to East London with a group of people. Um, some already lived in East London and actually some, there's a group of 20 who were in our uh, midweek group who sold their houses, sold, uh, stopped their contracts and they moved to East London with us. And um, during that time we saw amazing fruit. God was doing amazing things in that area and we had the chance to plant our own churches. Um, after about five years we planted two in one week, that's another story. I don't recommend doing two at once. Uh, but then another one two years later and then another one two years after that. And um, once we had started planting our own churches and also being part of this church planting movement at HTB, uh, that's Holy Trinity Brompton's shorthand, HTB, um, we, uh, I began to start asking this question, how, and this is so slow, because of the huge need that was around us, we weren't planting fast enough and it was very expensive. And so we began to start asking the question, how can we move from an addition culture of doing one at a time to a multiplication culture of church planting? And a about the same time as I was asking that question, I had been wrestling with actually a, a discipleship culture and multiplying uh, disciples. If you want to learn more about that, there's a, another video that I've done um, creating a discipleship culture. But the same question is there, which is moving from addition, one at a time, to multiplication. And here's the very simple thing that we learned. Actually, we learned this from New Thing, uh, the Ferguson brothers who were doing this uh, part of the exponential movement, which is that they took on an apprentice in their church plants. And in their culture, they have one apprentice for every planter. The planter takes an apprentice with them each year. And that person stays with that church for one year, and then they plant. And then when they plant, they take on a new apprentice. And the apprentice who's planting, they take on an apprentice. And so you've moved straight away from one to two to four, and it'll go to eight and to 16 and so on. So we took that and just began to think, there's something in this. This is fantastic. And we began to apply it to our own Church of England context. In the Church of England, we have um, assistant pastors. We call them curates. And they spend about three years in a church before they become the lead uh, vicar of a church, the lead uh, pastor. And so we just thought, well, what if we treated that curate as an apprentice? So that when we planted a church, we would have a curate come and join that apprentice, that, that uh, planter. And then when that happened, when we'd planted um, our own uh, curate out, we would take on another curate to be an apprentice planter. And so uh, year one is us, year, two, um, year three, we plant our first church and we take on a curate and the planter takes on a curate. So year th you know, the next phase after another three years is that they begin to plant with their apprentice curate. We plant again with our apprentice curate and each one, each church takes on another curate to be trained as a planter. And so we felt actually we've worked out the first stage of moving from addition to multiplication. So now every time we think about planting a church or in our context revitalizing a church, so if a church is, uh, an existing church has is, is really lost its way and it's in small numbers, we might send a, another church to graft into it, to revitalize it through new leadership and a new team coming in. And that's what we call a revitalization. So that culture of revitalizing churches and planting new ones, we're beginning to start saying, let's plant a church planting church. So how, what does that look like? Very simply, it's a, a church planter takes an assistant with them, an apprentice or a curate, whatever you want to call it. And that person is coming on the church plant in order to learn how to plant. And every time a church is planted, an apprentice is brought on board um, to learn and then to plant. And so that way you have a multiplication going on. And it, it's very quick um, to see extraordinary growth. So it doesn't matter how big the church is that you're planting, it could be just two or three people, it might be 10 or 15, it might be 50 or 75, but each time we're always, always saying you must plant 
a church planting church. Don't just plant a church, plant a church planting church. And that has completely changed our culture. It's completely changed the approach. What's the challenge? The main challenge is actually finding people who are ready to do this. So straight away, we start looking at our pipeline of leaders, people who are upstream, who are just thinking, shall I go into pastoral ministry? And we're saying, is God calling you to lead an existing church, which is fantastic, or to start a new church or be involved in starting a new church? And if that is um, spoken about early on in the process of recruitment, of, of discernment, of, for vocations, um, we're able to then wo walk alongside that person's um, growth as a leader, growth as in their training, so that they can appreciate, actually, yes, I feel I'm called to be a church planter. As soon as that happens, we work with them to link them up with a church plant that's going to um, go out. And uh, most of our church planting formation is like a discipleship culture. It's that apprentice learning from the lead planter. They're in the same meetings as them. They're asking questions about them. They're watching the way that the planter um, does their devotional life and does their meetings and, and so on. So they're, they're rubbing shoulders with them um, day in, day out of that first one, two, three years. And then they're ready themselves, not just to uh, exercise that leadership, but to pass that on to someone else. We found actually that by the second or third generation of planting like this, the, the plants are, are very different from the ones that were originally planted from. So you don't get clones um, being replicated all over the place. There's actually a, such a diversity because in people's individual um, characters, their individual um, styles, the, their personalities really play out um, as they lead different kinds of churches. So now for us in the Church of England, we're beginning to say, every three years is a bit too slow. So we're beginning to say, could we do it a bit like New Think every year or even shorter, depending on how you gear things. So um, now we're beginning to take a whole new look at training. Um, does training need to be all up front or can it be on the job? Um, we're looking at coaching and mentoring. It makes so much difference having someone walk alongside you with that journey so you can talk to them, you can share stuff, and most of all have good questions asked of you. And um, funding, we're reworking our funding model so that actually we can do it in a much cheaper, quicker and more effective way. So that's some of the things which we're wrestling with, with um, our church planting culture, seeing a multiplying church planting culture just beginning to start happening afresh and again in the Church of England. We've been doing it for 1600 years and we still need to keep on doing it. <laughs>